Hi kids, how are you today? This week we are learning about the international exam YLE. This exam is granted or is a qualification granted by the University of Cambridge. YLE stands for Young Learners English. You have three levels that you can take, starters, movers, and flyers. This exam tests students on the four skills of English, the four abilities. Speaking, what's your name? My name is, how old are you? I'm 11. Listening. Reading and writing. You need to remember this. The day you take the exam, you have to bring a soft black pencil. HD is ideal. A sharpener, an eraser and pencils of different colors because you are going to use them in the exam. You also need to remember that for the three levels of the exam, the day of the exam, the day you take it, you have to stay calm, be relaxed, don't overdo it, don't over exaggerate it. Oh, I have an exam, I never... No, just relax. You can take a deep breath and you stay calm, you relax, okay? It's not the end of the world, don't overdo it. You also need to remember that you have to be polite with the examiner. You have to say hello, you have to say goodbye, the day of the oral, all right? You need to remember that you must speak English all the time. You cannot speak Spanish. You also need to sit down correctly. Okay? You sit down correctly on your chair. You don't fidget. Fidget is this. Ah, you start moving your fingers. You start playing with your leg. Or you move your fingers, your hands. No, just normally. You sit down correctly. You look at the examiner in the eye. You are polite. Okay? You also need to remember that you have to read instructions carefully. You need to know what to do in each paper. You also need to read the examples. In all the papers you have got examples of what you are supposed to do and how you are supposed to complete the activity. And you also need to check the time limit for each part of the paper you are assigned a time a time limit so you need to pay attention to that now i will show you a sample test look movers listening sample paper on the first page you need to write down your name my name is and you complete it all right and you know that you have 25 questions to answer and that you will need colored pencils. Let's see. Part one is, look at the picture, listen and draw lines. And there is one example. Part two, you have listen and write. There is one example. So. You have to complete writing only one word, okay? Part three, what did Sally do last week? Listen and draw a line from the day to the correct picture. As you can see, there's always an example for you to look at. You have the days of the week and different pictures, so you have to match the day of the week with the correct picture. Part four, you have to listen and tick. There is one example. You have to answer the questions and just tick the correct picture according to the information you listen.
And part five, you have listen and color and write. Again, you have to color according to the information that you can get. Then we pass on to the reading and writing paper. Again, you have to write down your name. You know that there are 40 questions and that you have 30 minutes to complete this test. Part one is look and read. Choose the correct words and write them on the lines. So you have the vocabulary with the picture to help you. For example, a whale, coffee, an elephant, shoulder. And then you have to complete with only one of the words from the picture. This animal can fly and it comes out at night. What is it? It's a bat. That's the example you have there, okay? Part two of this paper is look and read, write only yes or no. So you have to complete. There are five white towers in the bedroom. You need to count them and make sure that there are five. Two, the two smallest bears are washing their faces. You need to pay attention to the size of the bears, okay? So again, you look, you read, and you only answer yes or no. Part three, you're going to read the text and choose the best answer. All right, you have multiple choice, A, B, or C. Only one is okay. Part four, you need to read the story. You choose a word from the box and you write the correct word next to the numbers. You see the numbers in the text? And part five, you have to look at the pictures. You have two pictures and read the story below and write some words to complete the sentences. This is based on the pictures and on the text that you have. Part six, you have read the text, choose the right words and write them on the lines. There in the gaps. Okay. And now the speaking section, again, you have to say hello, you have to say goodbye when you leave. The examiner is going to ask you, what's your name? You have to answer. And he or she is also going to ask you, how old are you? I am 11, I am. Don't say I have, remember that. And in this part of the paper, you have two similar pictures, but they are not exactly the same. You have differences. So the examiner is going to say, suppose this is the examiner's picture and this is your picture. The examiner is going to say, in my picture, there is a yellow jacket. And you have to say, in my picture, the jacket is red. You need to find the differences. All right. You also need to look at the pictures there and make up a story, picture story. The examiner is going to give you the beginning, all right? And in this part of the speaking, you have a series of pictures and you have to find the odd one out, the one that doesn't belong to the group, for example. You have a lemon, a pineapple, a book, and an orange, which is the one that doesn't belong to the group. Of course, the book, because you cannot eat a book. Well, I hope everything is clear. Good luck the day of the exam. Bye-bye.